This Barcelona track out is brought to you by Celtic Tuning Midrand. Quick disclaimer, this is not the how to guide to get the fastest hot lap time. This is some of the things that I look out for and I'm talking breaking points, turning points and some of the things that I do to ensure that I've got a good rhythm and prepping myself for the race. So just like I did at Monza, I'll break down each corner and then afterwards let it all come together in one seamless lap. So as we cross the start finish line, we're going to start wanting to move to the left hand side and I'm looking out for the 100 meter board on the left. Into turn one, I get onto the green section. So it looks like I've braked quite early here, but you'll see by the time I get to that 100 board, my brakes are already fully applied and I'm able to use this to get into the corner. And just take note of how wide I am going into turn one. So now I'm braking in a straight line. You can see now 100 meter mark and the brakes are now fully engaged. And once I get past the orange section, I'll start turning the car in, aiming for the apex. Now using those gears to help me slow the car down. Then just before we turn in, go down into second gear, get up on the curb. Once you come off that curb, just get that car nice and straight. You can really see adding throttle. Caution of the inside here, stay off that little bump. But now full throttle, just make sure you're feeding it through. I had a little oversteer, but all good. Turn three is all about the exit speed. So where this Pirelli sign is, you're going to see I'm going to come off the power. I'm going to want to let that car settle. And as soon as it's settled, I'm going to be back on the power because we want to get as much exit speed here as possible. So look out for the marshal on the right hand side. There he is, full throttle. And now we carry as much speed as we can heading towards turn number four. So the theory for turn four is like turn three. Get the car slowed down, turned in, and accelerate as soon as you can. So on the brakes now, I'm aiming for the inside, and this is where you need to make use of everything you have at your disposal. That orange board is part of my coming off the brakes and my acceleration point. Now that it's gone past the windscreen wiper, I'm applying full acceleration, and you'll see just making slight adjustments on the wheel to make sure that the car is not stepping out because then you're losing speed. For turn 5, I'm giving myself options here. There's that dark patch in the middle, as well as the end of the fence on the left-hand side. Because if there are cars in front of you, you're not going to see the dark patch. Also here, I like to stay in the middle of the track. I don't like to go too wide, otherwise you're just opening yourself up for a bomb. So now, on the brakes, getting the car slowed down, going down through the gears, and just as I turn in first gear, missed the apex a little bit here. You want to try and just ride it up on the inside curb. So this is eyes open for the lamp pole. You can see now it has passed my windscreen wiper and that is the sign for me to get onto maximum power. So your approach through turn is six, seven and eight is all about the rhythm. I'm gonna stay in the middle of the track through turn six. I'm looking for my braking point. There it is. So just at the start of the curb, then a maximum braking going down the gears. You can see into third, now into second, get that car now turned in and I wanna get up onto this inside curb. I have already applied that full throttle so that by the time I get at the apex, you can see the car is nice up on the curb, already at full acceleration and now ready to make the exit. Just off the sausage curb, it's just safer that way. Now we head till turn nine. So I'm looking for the end of the curb on the left and there it is. This is an interesting corner for me. I'm making use of both feel and sound. I've turned the car in, I'm waiting to hear the car hit the curb. Once it's hit the curb, I plant the accelerator and get the drive on the way out. There is lots of space on the exit. Don't be scared to use it. Just stay off the sand. And now the technical rhythm section from 10 to 60. So with my windscreen wipe as a reference point between the tree and the 100 meter mark, I want to be braking in a straight line, hard on the brakes, going to go down the gears into first, get the car turned in, so careful on the exit here, there are some limits, so just stay off the yellow sausage curb. So you can take a lot of curb here on 11 and a straight line into 12. Turn 12 reminds me of 3 and 4. You want to get that car braked, turned in, settled and get on the power as soon as possible. Now that the car is rolling in, I'm going to short shift. I'm going to apply about a, a third of the throttle. I'm waiting for my acceleration point. There it is now. The orange barrier in line with my windscreen wiper. I'm going to apply maximum throttle and get the drive out of turn 12. The way you enter 13 affects how you're going to enter 14. I'm looking for this dark patch. This is now going to be my braking point. You can see I'm very far on the left hand side and I want to get as close to this inside curb as possible. 
So try not drift uh, too far to the left hand side because we want to get the car back to the right hand side to set up for turn and number 14. Now that overhead sign is my braking point. Once I imagine I am under it now, this is where I'm going to start applying the brakes. I want to brake in a straight line, get the car down into a first gear. Want to get as close to the inside as you can, then apply a little bit of throttle on the way out. I'm going to have a little lift, get the car turned to the right hand side, just miss the sausage curb, maximum acceleration, use the runoff on the exit and your car should be flat through here quite easily and you can use a lot of the runoff on the outside here. And that is the lap around Barcelona. Now for it all to come together in one seamless piece. This Barcelona track guide was proudly brought to you by a Celtic Tuning Midrand. We hope you enjoyed it and there was something that you took from it. And we're looking forward to seeing you for a round number two in Barcelona on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Yos.